Now, of course, um, a group of fans that do love you, of course, is the Liverpool fans. You're still Liverpool's all-time leading goal scorer. Yeah. Although I hear that Mo Salah is 10. He's, he's close in, close in. Are you happy he's having a bad season? <sighs> from an individual point of view, <laughs> yes, delighted. Uh, but from a Liverpool fan point of view, no, because I think um, I mean, records are there, certainly to be broken. Uh, obviously get a little bit serious here. Um, I want them to be because I want my my team to win. I want them to be successful. I want the players to sort of win everything. Uh, but yeah, from a, an individual selfish selfish point of view, I, I want them gone in the summer. <laughs> Before he gets to yeah, your record, yeah. yes, no, I, the summer it's win, just it's gone. It's win-win for, for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. No, the, the summer just gone. I want them gone just because I didn't want them to beat my record. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened to him this season? Whether it's, in, whether, I don't, whether it's in, whether it's a team, um, I mean, there's obviously a few little problems, um, you know, happening within a club, you know, they, they can't, they, they can't buy wins, they can't you know, buy performances, uh, they are really struggling. Um, Two yeah. lads haven't paid off though, have they? No, no, and, and I agree front, with that. So, the I, front I, line. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Obviously, Gakpo and, and, um, and uh, Nunes, Nunes. Uh, Darwin, look good players. And I think what I think what we fundamentally need to remember, I think when when Liverpool have signed players in the past, they've more or less been in the Premier League, and you know you're talking about the likes of I, don't, I mean Mane for example, Van Dijk, you know Salah, who, Salah did, did play yeah, in the Premier League. Obviously, did, yeah. did, did, Salah had gone elsewhere and came back over, came but um, but with them, they didn't really have. Uh, a bedding in period. They, they they were into the team, came straight in and, and struggling in a in a struggling team, uh, essentially. So do I think they're good players? Of course I do. You know, I think they are really good players. Um I think they're they they may be not benefit benefiting from the way Liverpool are playing. You know, and I, I think maybe I mean you'll know it more than anyone, the, the fact that you you look at City and you know City maybe this year are, are hurting from the fact is that to maybe give it so much for the last couple of years. I mean, you know, mentally, you know, that that could be a problem. Um, I think fitness-wise, and, and you'll know, Sam, I think players can play four or five games a week. I mean, I, I would guarantee that could be the case. But from a mental side of it, I mean, it, it's tough. And I think probably players at Man City, players at Liverpool, I think struggling mentally from what they've achieved for the last couple of years. And I, I think that maybe have... A little bit of a, a little bit of a. But they've, they've all kept going for four competitions, yeah. haven't they? Yeah, yeah. Both Liverpool and Manchester City for some for some. Probably only Manchester City had the strength and depth of squad to actually yeah. do that. Like you mean, and, and like you know, I, I had a directive. I got a di- owners and the directive and the owners and they said, "I take the stick for this." But you mean, Fergie was the best, first one to start rotation. Got hugely, hugely criticised for it. You know, even us old players. Oh, you know, we, we we're not tired. We we were never tired. We were never. You know, we were. Never, you know, when we played, we played. You know, when I played, there was no subs. Yeah. You know what I mean? So there, there was only a sixteen man squad at the best. Like I mean, but when you went and, and as the games moved on and as the, the levels of of pressure physically and mentally goes you've got to have this this squad of international players almost like Man City have, and find a way to rotate them that doesn't affect the performances yeah. and that's the beauty of it because if I rotated at Bolton we were rubbish if I made five or six changes at Bolton then lads that came in wouldn't it, we'd be nowhere near the level we could be but when you get get the players used to it and they had to get ready and Manchester United had to get ready, Fergie. I was speaking to, you know, Phil Neville and and before he went to Everton and said, he decided that he's, he got 25 games a year, yeah. 20 games a year. So it wasn't as if he's on the sideline all the time like you are. Mm. If you Do you really want to go for all four competitions? What's the consequences of when it all comes up? And the pressure that you're in another semi final, then a final, another semi final, then a final. What is your priority? So I asked the club what the priority was. I'd love to win the FA Cup. I'd love to win the Carling Cup as a manager. I'd love. And they go, Sam, you've got to keep us in the Premier League. Yeah. But what about Klopp? Where's, what do we think about Klopp this season? I mean, I, I I love him. I think he's brilliant. I think yeah. what he what he's done, what he's done to Liverpool, and, and where Liverpool are now to what they were years ago. I mean, if we talk statues. That that man should be having a statue there. You know, is he under a little bit of pressure? 
I mean, they might be under a little bit of pressure from a certain fan base who, you know, probably don't understand the game um, because it's all about, if you just mentioned, it is all about winning, certainly when you when you are a big, big club. Uh, but but I think what Jürgen's done and what he's achieved, um, he deserves all the time. He needs to try and get it right. If he loses the Merseyside derby, is there pressure on him? I mean, he'll put pressure on himself because he, he's that ingrained in wanting to win anyway. Um, you can see the pressure on him. Of course. I can anyway. Yeah, no, of, I can of, see. Of I can see. You know. You know. I, you know. I, I, I've been the the bottom of the league. Like you mean, where the pressure's at the top. They think that's pressure. Like you mean, you. You know, <laughs> when you're at the bottom of the league and you're doing it, it's a it's a different type of pressure. Um, That's what I was going to ask you then, Sam. You know, you know what when you're saying, it, you can see it. So there's a different type. Is it is it pressure or is it frustration? I mean, I can. I no, can it's like a sleep. Yeah, but I can understand it's with maybe like a, a, a no disrespect to all the other teams, but like a, a, a lesser known team. I mean, managers can become under pressure, but when you're like a, a Man City, a Man United, you know, uh, Liverpool, and you're not playing well and you're getting beat. It, there's obviously pressure from an outside point of view, but there's maybe more of a more of a, fr- a frustration from yourself because you know that the team should be better. Mm-hmm. So you know, th- I think there is a difference. 